All right. So what do we have here? What okay. is this? So I'm trying to walk you through the different met- methods or modes that I would go to making something. So the nesting piece was imagination. The honey hole was inspired by life, but also highly altered by imagination. Mm -hmm. This piece Mm -hmm. was done solely from life. There was no aid in photography. It just, it is, it is what it is. And it was, it was real. And in front of you when you painted it and in front of me. So what's the, what's the name of it? It's called new year's birthdays. Why did you want to do something that was more direct like that? Because it's completely real. It's mm-hmm. completely alive and good for your mental health not to source everything from inside your head. It's good to get out of yourself and mm-hmm. observe other things for a bit. So when you use photography, photography is great. It makes things very simple for artists. It makes a still image. Nothing's moving. can draw from it very easily. When you're painting something from life, there's even if it's still it's not still the light's changing the shadows are moving the flowers are slowly dying so what you what you end up with is um is a little container for that specific moment Mm. do you feel urgency yes yes so does that add some character into it maybe like again earlier Mm -hmm. we were talking about you know painting with stride in a way right with this kind of urgency because you don't want to lose good lighting, does that affect the actual physical connection between brush and canvas? Does that make sense? Well, you're just, you're not lollygagging, yeah. right? It's, you can it, take your time if you have pictures and you're mm-hmm. experimenting. You can take a month or a year with something that's in front of you. You really just have two to three hours. Game on. That's it. You, it must be done in that it, time. It's all business. Exactly. You got to roll. <laughs> yeah. So, so this piece, you know, I'm pretty sentimental. If you can't tell yeah. by now, yeah. um, this piece was special to me because it contains things that were left over from mine and my daughter's birthdays. Were mm-hmm. two. Were um, were five days apart. But, you know, those are my flower bouquets and her balloons. So the family yeah. you know, connection with kid, daughter. and yeah. But also the time of year. So, what, when what, it's, so what, since it's painted from life, it's, it's winter, right? My birthday is at the very end of December and hers is the, the beginning of January. My, mine's January 2nd. Is it? So <laughs> do I fall in between somewhere? Yes, hers is the 4th. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's the 30th. So during this time, it was it was earlier this year that it was there was a snowstorm. Mm-hmm. So the light outside was cool and bright, and I was really trying to get that quality of light within the piece. So it was all set up next to the window. So did the weather and that natural atmosphere. Was that the beginning of the inspiration to then, ooh, I could do a painting right now that would go well with outdoors? Or was this already planned? And then just some synergy with it was with more the, it was more visual. I wasn't really <clears throat> thinking about, you know, I wanted to do a painting. I wanted to to use these like really beautiful flowers mm-hmm. and I loved the bright yeah, but did you, reflective nature you of the specifically blues. painted the day you did because of the natural lighting, right? Well, I always use natural lighting if I'm painting from life. Yeah, but that day was better. Yeah. So, well, it, it is kind of sentimental in a way because it's it's all we're always excited. We're celebrating. It's our birthdays, you know, mm-hmm. but at the same time it's cold and gray and every single year. You, so. you just got over the holidays. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 pretty though. So how long did it take you to do? Paint, I should say. Three hours. I'm sure I kept working at it after. Mm. You touch it up, mm-hmm. little touch ups here. And what size is that now? Um, Roughly, I know. I, don't, I would you say that's like one feet, one foot wide, and two, you know, eighteen inches tall or something. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it is. Yeah, it's a nice little piece, though. I like it. Thank you. The red pops because everything. Well, you got the green as well. It, 
Before I start talking about colors, though, I'm colorblind, <laughs> so I have no business talking you're colors. You're right. You're right. I was surprised. But uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you but, can uh, tell colors. Yeah. Oh, that's red. Good job. I, I really like the purple. Wait a minute. No. Um, but it, uh, it's cool. It's cool. So it is mm -hmm. a purple tone. Oh, I was kidding, but yeah, I can see that right there, maybe. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Exactly. My daughter has taught me well. Yeah, because the red's she's mixing always, with the blue. She's always correcting me. Dad, that's purple, not blue. Okay, <sighs> thank you. <laughs> 